going to be offside shelterville it's going to go in lebanon's favor so the eagles jump prematurely and didn't get back so instead of second and seven that's going to bring up uh, second and about two which puts a different light on the subject altogether moves the football in shovelable territory down to the 47 yard line it'll be second and a long one actually that gives you a lot of options in that playbook second and a long two and it looks like the rain has now stopped we got the dousing there early and it's over now blue devils started this drive on their own 28 trying to pick up their second first down Pitt's going to fall and a loose football and let's see does shovelable have it no they say he's down Pitt stumbled and fell, managed to hand off on the ground, and I don't know how they hung on to that one, but there's no gain, and it's going to be actually a yard loss, and it'll be third down and two for the Blue Devils. They move the football back to the 48-yard line in Shelbyville territory. And I don't know if that was uh, footing or just a misstep by Damon, but there was a bad collision between Greer and Damon in the backfield, and Lebanon very fortunate to hang on to the football. Blue Devils now going to put an unbalanced line to the left. Double wide outs left. Hankins, the lone set out to the wide side. And Reeves, the fullback. Pitt will make the call. And Shelbyville's coming. And Shelbyville goes over the line and makes contact. So this should be Shelbyville. I didn't see movement from Lebanon. So maybe this is going to be Shelbyville. And it is. Offsides once again as Pitt is... Uh, Doing something with his cadence, Tommy, and, and drawing them off. They had about three people come across that time. And, John, that should slow down some of that blitz if you can mess that cadence up and keep them off guard. You're right, Tommy. You know, they did that to us last year up at their place, and uh, maybe we've uh, turned the coin on them a little bit, but that, that will definitely slow, slow them linebackers down a little bit. Moves the football down to the Eagle 43, and the Blue Devils are in business with a first down. Wide outs left and right on a first and 10, and Pitt going to fake fire. And it's through the hands of Reeves down at the 40-yard line. Had a little running room had he been able to catch it, but he was thrown in kind of an awkward position right straight over his head, and it was hard to come up with. And it'll be second down and 10. Play action pass for Lebanon on first down. Fake the run. Damon on the rollout. And maybe the footing now a little more treacherous, and he couldn't get his feet set, throwing across his body to Reeves in the flat, the intended receiver. Rudd will go wide left to the wide side of the field. Hankins is split out to the short side, and Pitt will make the call. Down the line, Pitt on an option, going to have a little room, be hit from behind, dive inside the 40 to the 39-yard line, and it's going to bring up third down now, and about uh, seven, maybe third and six. Call it three and six for the Blue Devils as the football is the length of the ball inside the shovelable 39-yard line. And you figure a football team, as the Blue Devils are, coming in one and three. They've got the ball uh, inside the opponent 40. That We're probably in four-down territory right here. We'll take two shots to try to pick up this first down. Third and six for the Blue Devils. Pitt will make the call. Lebanon hanging on to the football. They give it to Reeves, and Reeves is going to blast through there. He may have gotten to the 35-yard line. If he did, it will bring up a third and or fourth and two. 5.58 remaining in the opening period, and there is no score. The Blue Devils have had the football the entire quarter with the exception of three and out shovel on the opening kickoff. Some plays being signaled in by Randall Hutto from head coach Bob Dillard to our quarterback, Damon Pitt. Lebanon looking down at a fourth down now. And don't be surprised if we might try to draw them off again. We've had success a couple of times doing that. Fourth down two for the Blue Doubles, and they're going to go for it. They split Rudd to the near side, Hankins to the left. Pitt will make the call, and Shovel jumps, but they get back. And now Lebanon jumps, and let's see what's going to happen here. Everybody's over. So let's see. Illegal procedure Lebanon this time. Shelby will jump and get back. Now Lebanon will be looking at a fourth and seven rather than the fourth and two. And the football will be at the 40-yard line as they move it back to the 40. Sparse crowd on hand tonight. Weather part of that. And that rain has picked back up, Clyde. It's coming down again. Lebanon now. Double wideouts, and they're going to go for it on fourth down, or they're going to try to draw them off sides once again. Here's the long count. Shelbyville holding, and now Lebanon will take a timeout, and the 
It didn't work that time. Shovel will manage to hold, and Lebanon will take another five-yard penalty probably and kick the football, but uh, they call the timeout right now. Timeout on the field. No score. Five minutes to play in the opening period. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Do you receive the... Johnson, a varsity football cheerleader, here with Damon Dawson of K.O. Lester, to thank him for his support of Lennon High Football and to present him with the souvenir of Blue Devils. Thank you. The Kenneth O. Lester Company and its employees are a proud sponsor of 1996 Lebanon High School Football. L-H-A! Fourth down play, Lebanon will kick it away. Damon Pitt will drop into punt formation, standing inside his own 10-yard line for the Golden Eagles is Chris Harris. Harris now going to come way up to the 20. And Pitt, the sec, they roll it back. Pitt going to get it out of there miraculously. He got it away. Great kick by Pitt. But it's going to go into the end zone. Lebanon touched it at the goal line. Almost saved that. They're down about the one foot line, but it gets into the end zone. But uh, Pitt did a good job getting that kick away, guys. They almost got it. Low snap, and we've got a new snapper tonight, Matt T. Greer. Kicking the, uh, snapping the football for Lebanon with the injury to Bain. And I tell you what, I'd rather have a low snap than a high one because Damon played it like a shortstop, made the short hop, and Terry got the kick away. Tommy made a good play as a shortstop on the second hop. He picked it up and kicked it 40 yards into the end zone, so Shelbyville will take over on their own 20. And they split the dangerous Brian Ransom out to the near side very wide. Cleveland, a quarterback with a slingshot arm, going to give it to his tailback, and he's not going to get anything. He got to the line of scrimmage, and Lebanon ran. Wraps him up. Carrying the football is Charles Gaunt, and Gaunt got nothing. Second down, 10. A nice play by the junior, Daniel Johnson, and Mark Lucas finished him off. Good effort there at the point of attack as Johnson just nails the ball carrier, holds him up, and then Lucas tees off on him. And here come the Eagles looking at a second and 10 now, and uh, I don't know where you want to force Cleveland to throw the football or not. Reigns come, double handoff coming to the near side, and he's going to be stopped for no gain once again. Lebanon really jammed him up and played that well. And for Lebanon, number two, Ryan Lankford gummed up the whole works for Shelbyville that time. Oh, nice play by Lankford. Normally play him on the weak side, away from the tight end. They ran that double handoff. Lankford drops the shoulder and gets under the blocker and creates a pile. Super job by that Lebanon defensive front now as the Golden Eagles looking at a third down and 10. And the rain is coming and the wind is really roaring out of the south. Shelbyville looking at a third and 10. Again, Ransom splits to the near side. Cleveland underneath. They've not put it up tonight, but Cleveland. Draw play to the fullback. He's got a little room, but Lebanon's going to knock him down shy as he crosses the 25 to the 26-yard line. That's Williams, the fullback carrying the football and it's going to be another three downs and out for Shelbyville and guys this Blue Devil defense is showing us a little something tonight. John there's some emotion those kids are jacked up down there and Reeves made a nice play. You know Tommy they got confidence this week they're playing with confidence they're playing with emotion and after they make a big play they're all hitting each other on the head and, and really getting emotionally involved in this game. Eric Smith back to kick and he'll stand at his own 12 yard line got plenty of time Gets this one away, good kick. It's going to be hit at the 48 and take a sideways bounce and Lebanon is going to have the football at the Shelbyville 48 yard line. So in the exchange of punts, uh, guys, we only lose uh, about eight yards. There's so Lebanon right back in business. Terry, what about the mathematics on this play? From the 27, the ball rolls dead at the Shelbyville 48. So that punt good for 21 yards. Lebanon with excellent field position, 249 left in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing, score. The lights in the press box have flickered a little, and Clyde, do we have battery backup? We got we battery can... power. Yes, we have, but if the lights go out on the field, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Double wide outs for the Blue Devils. Coming to the near side is Joe Pereira. Split to the far side is Hankins to the short side of the field, and they give it to Matt Greer. And Greer going to get about a yard, maybe down to the 47-yard line, and not a lot more. There was not a lot there on that side of the uh, shovable line as he tries the weak side and uh, shovable jams it up for about well he may have gotten a yard Tommy the rain stops every time we go on offense well maybe the good Lord uh, <laughs> maybe the good Lord's wearing a blue jersey tonight John Blue Devils again Pereira to the near side Hankins to the far side Reeves the fullback Greer the tailback 
and Pitt will make the call, and here comes a blitz, and here is the pass downfield going for Freer down at the 37-yard line, way overthrown, and I think that ball just slipped out of Pitt's hand, it looked like, because uh, it was really high and long. Good play action as that kind of held those blitzing linebackers just a second. Damon able to step up and throw the ball pretty much uh, without obstruction from that Shelbyville defense. Third down and, well, nine and a half for the Blue Devils. Almost third and ten. Lebanon needs a big play here. And Pitt shakes a man in the backfield, looks and fires over the middle. He's got Pereer down to the 30-yard line. Pereer shakes a tackle, goes to the 25 and is knocked down. Pitt had time, rolled out, got by one man who was blitzing, went by him, and he had time, found Joe Pereer down at the 30, and he carries it to the 25, and it's a big first down for the Blue Devils. Terry, what about the yardage on that play? Tommy, third and 10 play as Lebanon get, picks up 23 yards on the pass from Damon Pitt to Pereer down to the Shelbyville 25-yard line. Where it will be first and 10 for the Blue Devils as they come out of the huddle. Now they send Pereira to the far side, bring Hankins to the near side. Lebanon smelling a little blood, and they give it to Reeves, the fullback, and Reeves ran over one shovelable man and roars down to about the 22-yard line. And I think they're going to mark him at the 23 and only give him two yards out of that carry. I thought he got three, but it's going to be second down and uh, about uh, eight for the Blue Devils at the 23-yard line is where they mark his knee touching down. This is a football team in dire need of something good to happen to it. Lebanon driving the football right now on Shelbyville. Double wideouts, Hankins left, career right. Pitt will make the call. Pitt pitch out to the near side, Kelly. Kelly got some room, 20, 15. Down to the 13-yard line, and they'll not give him the 13. They give him the 14, but that is a first down for Lebanon. But there's a flag down, and holding is going to be called on the Blue Devils. And all that's going to come back and be for an off on a good run and a good pitch from uh, Damon Pitt to Titus Kelly. And Kelly moved it from the 23 down to the 14. But it's all for naught, and will come back. Somebody on that backside apparently with a hold as the flag came out from the, the side nearest Shelbyville sideline. Out of the game comes Vaught. Returning to the football game is Rocky Gann at the tackle position. Lebanon now looking at a second down and long yardage. The markoff negates the nice play on the option, the good pitch relationship between Pitt and Kelly, the tailback. Now Lebanon will send double wideouts left, nobody right, and they give it to Titus Kelly. Kelly got some room. Kelly. Slides over the 25, down over the 23, down to the 22-yard line, and Kelly got some big yardage on that first down, and it will bring up a second down now, and about seven. So a big gain by Titus Kelly on second down. It'll bring up third down now, but you are in four-down territory. Nice off-tackle play as we got a good lead block from Reeves, opening up the seam for Kelly to run the football. Three and seven for the Blue Devils. Double wide outs left. Nobody split to the wide side of the field, which is right. And the flags are going to fly, and Lebanon may be called again, but let's see. It could be shovable. Let's see. Lebanon is clapping. They think it's shovable who's offsides, and it is. Big, big play there for the Blue Devils as shovable jumps again. And now that will bring up more talk as you'll be looking at about a third and two situation for the Blue Devils as that moves the football down to the 17-yard line. John, are they lining up in the neutral zone or are they jumping? That's 22, Sean Gibson, Tommy. He's getting a running start at this corner over here and just and blitzing in. I think he's playing the defensive end. They've got him out of the ballgame to talk to him about it. And that's going to be in the, the end of the first quarter.